self-care night. Try to be productive queens today, even though we haven't felt like productive queens in a very long time. Here's your sign, babes. Here's your sign. Never too late, babes. Never too late. Okay, let's go use the bathroom and then we're gonna make our bed. Actually, let's probably make our bed now so that we don't come back and crawl back into it. Big brain. Lord, give me strength because I freaking need it. Thanks. I love you. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so freaking tired. I have no recollection of. Let's go brush our teeth. We're gonna fill my water bottle. Got a kitten recently, so she's adorable. She is. Where are you meowing? Are you a pee, bro? Oh, it's... I don't know why I always wake up with the guy now to use the bathroom. <sighs> okay. I'm like literally out of toothpaste. This is my mom's toothpaste. You're joking. It's dead. Anyway. I'm not working up this early in months. I've been so out of routine lately, and I just feel like I was in desperate need of a productive 5 a.m. day. I'm using this ice roller to hopefully help me to wake up. I'm literally supposed to leave my house at 6.15. It is 6.10. Find the world. Lord help me. You straight to indulge. Is it going with this moisturizer? For my yoma. I have a few things planned for today. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym right now. And then afterwards, I'm probably gonna get some Starbucks. And I really, really need to go to the grocery store i need to go get the essentials i've been really wanting to eat like fresh fruit in the morning for breakfast and i don't have any of that i've also been craving oatmeal and i don't have oatmeal um i feel so delusional i have a few errands to run recently i got a kitty i will introduce you to her later guys i'm not so well um that's so weird where's my eyelash curler i can't seem to find it guys oh no where did my eyelash curler go Okay, we're gonna put on the gym fit real quick. I also have a nail appointment because if you guys can't tell, nonetheless, babes, we're gonna have a good day today. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. The sun is in my face, but it is okay. I got myself a peach vibe Celsius. I'm literally chugging this. <laughs> I know I should not be having caffeine right now. I'm gonna be doing arms, triceps, and biceps today. Let's go to the gym. I don't feel like going to the gym right now, but I know that I'm gonna feel so much greater after. <laughs> today's video i'm an avid creature on self-love and self-care while i do think doing things like face mask and journaling is super helpful i really do believe that the best way to show yourself self-love is by prioritizing your mental health one of the ways that i like to take care of my mental sanity is through therapy which is why i'm so excited to share today's sponsor BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an affordable option for anyone that is seeking online counseling it allows you to receive professional therapy from the comfort of your home anytime anywhere. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. I've personally been using BetterHelp for the past year and I am obsessed with it. I can confidently say that BetterHelp has played such a crucial role in my self-love journey. My therapist, Tina, who is a literal queen, has helped me by not only giving me great advice, but also giving me helpful resources and tools that help me with my anxiety and negative self-talk. I can literally message her anytime I want if I'm having a negative thought or I'm navigating through a tough situation. To get started, you're going to do 
do a spicy little questionnaire that matches you with the therapist within 48 hours. You end up not vibing with your therapist. You can easily switch your therapist until you find the one that works for you. To get 10% off your first month of therapy, go to better H E L P slash Adriana Noriega. That's better help H E L P slash Adriana Noriega. Join the over 4 million people that have used better help to start living a healthier, happier life. Now let's get back into the video. little haul of what I ended up getting from the grocery store. I got some oatmeal. These can be ready to eat in one minute. So that's why we got these baby spinach so that I can make some eggs and do a little cute breakfast scramble. Avocados. I have this sourdough bread right here. I need to use it up. So I'm thinking about making like some avocado toast. And I also got some berries that I could put in my oatmeal to add a little bit of color, a little bit of a zazz, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I got these two immunity shots because winter season is around the corner and I always get sick for whatever reason. I'm trying to boost my immunity here. This is a turmeric shot and then this is elderberry shot. I've never had this one so I'll probably take one together later. Some oats milk. I've literally had expired oat milk in my fridge for kid you not over a month. My mom was not happy about it. Right mama? Some band-aids because if you didn't notice I have a Peppa Pig band-aid on my finger. I was getting strawberries or something and I ended up slitting myself with the plastic. But yeah I think they're really cute. Um, Was it worth five dollars? No I should not have bought these. Anyway I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then we're gonna do our skincare and get ready for the day because I literally have an appointment for my nails in an hour. I have to be gone. Let's go shower. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. I just got out of the shower. Reverse sent me a PR package. Like, what the heck? This is crazy. How in the world am I, Adriana or Yaga, getting PR packages? Okay, slay. I got the Dewpoint Moisturizer, the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum, the Very Much Viral Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that every single time I go to Target, I want to buy one of these, and then I just can't get myself to. Now that I finally got my hands on it, we are going to test it out together. Ah! I also got the Gentle Retinol Serum. And then I also got the Bright Tightening Mask. We're 100% gonna be using this tonight. I'm gonna do a really quick skincare routine with Miss Ma'am. My cat is having so much fun. Also gonna be using this Labor Triple Say sunscreen. She's like playing with the verse packaging. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've had her for the past two weeks. I'm gonna respect your boundaries, I'm sorry. But anyways, that's my kitty. She is going crazy. I, she's loving the verse packaging. She's literally just in there. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys can excuse the noise now that you know that a little bundle of cuteness is making all the noise. She's always running everywhere. She makes mess literally everywhere, but I love her so much. And I'm so thankful my mom got her for me for my birthday. She was a little surprised coming home from church. And I'd see my mom looking at me, like staring at me, smiling. And I'm like, mom, why are you smiling at that? She guides me to the kitchen where she has this little cutie patootie, Luna, which is her name. I'm so thankful for her. I feel so happy to have a kitty. I've been wanting one for literally two years. So it feels like a literal dream. I'm going to do my quick makeup and I will get back to you guys because I have to leave in no joke nine minutes. And if I try to do my makeup and talk with you guys it's not gonna work i'm probably just gonna go ahead and watch love is blind i always either watch a podcast listen to music or watch netflix season five of love is blind came out recently and i'm about to binge watch all of it i'm gonna get ready for the day get ready for the day ah, i feel so happy okay love you guys I just finished getting ready. I did my makeup, my everyday makeup basically. Wearing this cute little fit. This shirt is from Paxson. These pants are from Princess Polly and I'm also wearing my blazers. We're gonna be heading to the nail salon. This is my nail before and I'll be showing you guys my after. Probably gonna be meeting up my friend for lunch, so vibes. I'm currently at 
Target. I got my nails done and they're literally adorable. I ended up just doing a pink French tip. I also went to the mall with my girly Addy. We went to Panera after and now I am finishing up my errands. I need to get toothpaste, get mouth rinse, floss. I think there's a few other things that I need but I cannot remember right now. I want to make sure that my dental hygiene is good. Yay! So not me low-key feeling the need to get Starbucks because like how do you go to Target and not get Starbucks? Like that just doesn't make sense. Explain the mathematics. I don't get it. I think I'm gonna restock this Equal Tools bath glove. I love these. I've been using them for the past year and they really do help to really get in there and exfoliate your skin. So highly recommend them. I couldn't help it. I got it. <laughs> I couldn't. Okay, let's go back. Just left my basket on the floor and I think someone took it. Oh no, no, they did it. Slay basket. It's still here. <laughs> Oh, I love the music right now. It's vibing. Shit, my drink's hitting the spot. The music's hitting the spot. Everything's just wrong aisle. Uh -uh. I'm gonna get this toothpaste. My sister, she is a dental hygienist. You guys didn't know. It is probably the best toothpaste out there. You're only getting the good stuff on this channel. So yeah. I'm gonna get these floss picks. This was also recommended by one of my aunts who is also a dental hygienist. She's a queen. Look here, I should probably leave, but what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a lap around the store because how do you go to Target and not do a whole lap? It's like Ikea, you have to go through the whole thing or else it's not a successful trip. Oh, look at the Lord working. I almost forgot to get Listerine. Dazzling mints. Packaging is giving. That's fun and fresh. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get these canned foods for my kitten. I'm gonna get four of them. I kind of need to get my cat a litter box. Poor girl has been using a literal cardboard box. I'm gonna look to see if they have a litter box. It is so cute. She would love that. Survive, survive. I was trying to look for a collar for Luna, but I literally can't find any that are specifically for cat. And she doesn't have a collar yet. I really want to get her like, cute little tag that says her name on it. I think it's so adorable. Quick Target haul! It's a quick Target haul! I ended up picking up a couple of things from Target. Literally just needed to go to get toothpaste and floss picks. And here I am with like 20 plus items. The first thing I got was this exfoliator from Eco Tools. I really do recommend getting your hands on one of these. But I don't. It has been a game changer. My skin feels so soft, feels so smooth. No dead skin here, ladies and gents. Some toothpaste from Sensodyne. This is a really good toothpaste. Would highly recommend it. I've already run out. I was literally cutting it up, trying to scrape as much as I could. Mouthwash. I honestly, low key, I never regret getting this one. There's a Sensodyne mouthwash. So I might end up returning it and getting that one instead. To be honest, I wasn't like a huge fan of this, but I've just been using it for the past like two years. So, you know, floss picks. These are the Oral B ones. Good for the environment environments good for my dental hygiene flossing is important guys something that a lot of us don't prioritize but it's about time that we get into the habit of doing that because one day when we're older we're gonna regret not having taken care of our teeth when we're younger be sure to floss kids i also got a few things for my kitty i got her this little cat toy this is a jump and chase feather wand cat toy it was literally only like five dollars I also got these grooming wipes for Luna because I am very aware that cats do not like water. I want to make sure that she is well kept, well groomed. Nail clippers. Her nails are really sharp and I think it would be beneficial for me to go like snip them off. She's already scratched me up a little bit. <laughs> um, trying to prevent that, you know what I mean? I also got four of these chicken kindful canned foods. She's been liking these a lot. Picked up a few groceries. I got these cheeses to Chobani protein drinks. 20 grams of protein. I highly recommend these, especially if you're trying to increase your protein intake for the day some garlic because i forgot to get some at fries some peanut butter oh no i got the crunchy one i'm gonna get the creamy it's okay it's all these alani drinks right by the cash register i could not resist loki kind of want to taste it right now let's do it I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it. I rate this like a 7.2 out of 10. And it has like 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's insane. But cheers. <laughs> I also went to Marshalls and got these Hateless Curlers. Hopefully it works. I was using my sister's for the longest time. It was about time I gave it back to her because I kind of stole it from her. Um, I went to H&M and I got these gray sweatpants. I've been really wanting to get new gray sweatpants because I've had the ones from Brandy for like the longest time. I don't know if it was my dryer, but they definitely shrunk. I also got this cute pastel blue disney shirt i'm actually gonna be leaving a disney this weekend which i'm super excited about i also went to hollister which is 
honestly a first for me. I don't think I've been inside a Hollister since like Black Friday in 2019. I found these really cute cargo pants. They're like literally the perfect fit as a short 5'1 girly. These fit like a freaking glove. Hella comfortable. Can't wait to wear these at Disneyland. I also got a few tops. This sage green top. Loki, one of my favorite colors as of now. Literally wearing it as we speak. A little off the shoulder moment. I also got this other top in a lilac type of color. Mob. I really like it. It's so freaking soft. Highly freaking recommend. And then last but not least, I got this top which I felt was kind of giving like Lightning McQueen racer girly and I just thought it would look super cute with these cargo pants. I'm gonna go grab Luna to unbox a few things from Amazon that I got for her. BRB. This is Luna. She's absolutely loving this little thing. She is obsessed with it. I literally had these just chilling on my floor for the past week or so. I got Luna this cute little water fountain. I have to try this later. A cat toy. Is it just like a wire? Oh, this is kind of boring. I was not expecting this. This cat litter mat from Gorilla Grip. Color pink. Obviously, I'm going to make Luna a pink girly. I'm just going to be putting this underneath her litter box. Ah, it's so cute. Got this heart shape bowl. I think it might be a little too big for her. I did not realize how tall this was going to be. It's super helpful for cats to have higher bowls. Make a special appearance, Luna. You're so cute. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finally do my laundry. I have been holding off on doing it for so long. Kid you not, it's been two weeks. Like, what am I doing? We're also going to put away some of the clothes that I have on my bed because it literally takes less than five minutes to put away. Might as well just do it. So we're going to do that. Try to be a productive queen. Eh, 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 eh. I also have Bible study, which I hadn't mentioned. I recently started a Bible study group, which I... It's amazing. It's going to be at 6.30. It's currently 5. So I'm going to try to see if I can finish doing this stuff before Bible study starts tonight. I'm so excited. So excited. Go ahead and do that. Yay. Okay. Luna loves chilling in laundry baskets. I don't know what her deal is, but look how cute she looks. You're going to have to get out of there so mommy can be productive. Look how cute and patootie she is. Do you like the camera, Luna? Oh, okay. minutes and now my bed doesn't have any crap on it it just feels vibey in my room now my room looks clean So while my clothes is in the washer, I'm going to be editing for the next hour or so. I want to try to get back into the habit of being productive and working at my desk. Lately, I've been doing a lot of my work on my bed and I feel like low-key that's the reason why I haven't been as efficient with editing or doing work. So I'm on my desk right now. I'm going to be editing the footage that I filmed today. in the background but i'm gonna be leaving right now for bible study we're gonna be meeting up at guess where starbucks so yeah it definitely will be the third drink i've had today from starbucks which is concerning anyways nonetheless we're gonna be studying the book of ruth today learning to trust god so yeah okay. I don't know if the lighting is weird. I feel like it might be but i really wanted to try the verse they dissolve cleansing balm doing my nighttime skincare. This is a dime size amount, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and rub this on my face. Ooh, it feels really cool. Bible study went well. I didn't get any footage. I literally forgot. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. I'm not really sure if it did much, to be honest. I would never just use this by itself. I would want to also go in with a water-based cleanser. I believe this is considered oil-based, but I liked it. So slay, slay verse. 
I wanted to do this face mask. This is the Brightening Tiny Mask from Verse. I feel like I haven't done a face mask in a really long time, mainly because I've just been essentially procrastinating taking care of myself. There's a few habits that I've just found myself letting go. One thing being my skincare routine and being consistent with my self-care routine. I really want to make it a habit of prioritizing myself by doing things like face masks, taking the time to journal and do things that make me happy, especially in times where I'm not necessarily doing 100% well emotionally. Finding time throughout the day to prioritize your own emotional and mental health is ideal. As silly as it might sound, doing a face mask for me is so therapeutic. Putting on a candle really just helps me to wind down and feel a little bit better. I would definitely encourage you to take literally like 5-10 minutes and just do something that makes you feel good. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I feel like sometimes we feel the need to do all these things. We feel like if we have a self-care night, it has to like be a two-hour routine. We have to do this and that. But ultimately, even if it's just one little thing that you do, even if you just take one minute to just breathe and meditate, those things can really help. It's simple, but a little goes a long way. Comment down below something that you like doing as a form of self-care. I feel like today was essentially like a self-care day for me. I went to the gym, I got myself Starbucks, I bought a few things that I've been wanting for a while, spent some time with the Lord. That isn't typically like what self-care is for a lot of people, but it's definitely what I define self-care as, just prioritizing my own happiness and working on healing. I think this is the best I'm gonna get. I always try to make my face mask look super aesthetic and cute, but it just never be looking like the Pinterest girlies, and it's okay. It is fine. It feels very good. I'm gonna put on a timer for 15 minutes. While I have this on my face, I wanted to do a prompt from the do-it-yourself journal. I got this on Amazon about a year ago, and I haven't done it in a while. I typically like doing the five-minute journal or even just practicing gratitude, writing on my Notion or on my notes app, three things I'm grateful for every single day. So I'd highly encourage you to do that even just right now. If you want, use the comments below as a journal entry and just write three things that you're grateful for. I genuinely believe that it will make you have more of a positive outlook on life. You're just going to be able to appreciate things in your life that you maybe take advantage of and you don't realize are a big blessing from God. This specific prompt is about what a day of striving for excellence would look like for you. These are the three questions that it's asking while I do this. I'm going to listen to worship music and also spend a little bit of time with God asking the Lord to give me insight on what a good day would look like because I feel like a lot of times it's so easy to compare your life to people online and you feel like your day has to look exactly like your favorite youtuber or your favorite tiktoker and that's totally not the case everyone has their own definition of happiness and i am a firm believer that my happiness comes from jesus very quickly i'm gonna take a photo of my little face because i feel like i look kind of cute okay <laughs> I still have about seven minutes left on my timer so i thought it would be a good idea for me to just meditate i haven't done that in a really long time i really feel like ending the day with meditation helps me to feel so relaxed especially as a believer i really love to meditate on the word of god i like using the app abide it has daily meditations on there one for today is glory to come allowing god to speak in your stillness today I'm obsessed with how my skin feels right now. First, worked its magic. Skin does indeed feel firm and refreshed. It's supposed to help with aging and stuff, which is lucky one of my concerns because there's parts of me that want both up. I wanted to try the retinol serum. One, two. The massaging this all over my carita. Comment down below your guys' favorite skincare products. I'm gonna go in with this rescue balm. My camera totally died, so I'm so sorry about that. But like I said, I'm gonna be adding this Hero Cosmetics rescue balm for post blemish recovery i have been struggling so much with acne on my chin always around my time of the month let me know what i can do about it i just don't like my skin to scar I've gone with the dew point moisturizing gel cream from burst this has been a product that i've used for like two years and i'm obsessed with it i'm basically already done with my bioma one i loved her she was a moment i definitely want to try other moisturizers i filmed a sephora shop with me video and i was so so 
I'm tempted to get the Junk Elephant Moisturizer. I have tried it before and I really do like it, but I could not get myself to spend more than $20 on a moisturizer. I've been using the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. Not even joking, I've gotten so many compliments on my eyelashes. Do I necessarily believe it is because of this specific product? Not necessarily, but I will give it the benefit of the doubt. I also put a little bit on my eyebrows today. I'm gonna go in with Aquaphor. Lord knows, the lips need moisture too. That is my skincare. I kind of want to read a book. <laughs> right it is getting pretty late so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it till the end comment this emoji i want to see which of you guys are real ones i really hope that this video inspired you to be productive to do one thing today that your future self will thank you for do i think i'm gonna be waking up at 5 a.m tomorrow probably not i really do think that waking up early helps me to get a head start to my day and i genuinely do enjoy it it's just i want to make sure that i'm prioritizing seven eight hours hours of sleep every night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. God bless and goodbye!